This here is one of the animals found in Kenya, which is world renowned for its wildlife. This is a giraffe carved from the Kisi soapstone. Driving along the Kenyan Rift Valley, about 350 kilometers from the Kenyan capital Nairobi to the southwest of Kenya, is this area known as Tabaka, the only one in the world that produces the Kisi soapstone, used for many figurines, carvings, and just beauty or aesthetics for the home. We are going to be talking to one of the artists who's the chairman for the Association for the Artists here in Kenya, who's also an abstract um, artist and is going to be introducing his work to us and a little bit more about the Kisi soapstone. Uh, please introduce yourself, sir. Yes, my name is Naftal Mageto Momani. I have been a sculptor for the last 40 years and I'm a full-time artist depending on art to feed my family. Yeah, I started art as a self-taught artist and uh, by going through the books, fine art books on my own, I increased my knowledge about the intricacies involved in uh, producing creative artworks. And um, uh, right here now I'm, I'm working on a piece that is uh, quite realistic and uh, of a client that he wanted me to produce a, a chessboard that is made of a cultural uh, uh, histories of, of Kenyan people and uh, that is the chessboard that is made in realistic form. It looks like uh, quite an elaborate uh, piece of art and also uh, some of the art uh, pieces that you, uh, you, you showed us earlier. Uh, would you tell me, for example, which, from which countries is, where, uh, is there high demand for these uh, soapstone carvings? Well, the, the high demands of substance carving is, uh, is from the United States of America, from Germany, from Britain, uh, from Switzerland, from uh, also we export it to Japan, and also a few more other countries. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so what about China? Um, have you been exporting to China? And uh, uh, I just read that uh, you haven't been exporting so much. Why is that and uh, what's the plan now? Yeah, uh, previously we have not been uh, exporting to China because there was a kind of a language barrier and uh, there was no proper social interaction between Kenya and uh, China until recently when China introduced the road and the pelt uh, strategic cooperation for international cooperation. And that's now where we are uh, trying to use the opportunities to interact with the Chinese and uh, also explore the market possibilities in China. <laughs> Okay, so usually, um, uh, like we saw before, uh, what's the first step? Um, uh, uh, because I saw uh, the quarries located here in uh, Tabaka. Uh, maybe you can give us uh, a little bit about, um, just in summary, about how the steps goes from the quarry. Yeah, the steps of uh, uh, doing the work of Sobstony, we start from the quarry, the mining area, where we use uh, crude tools to mine uh, deep from the soil. We use handmade uh, tools so that uh, we can be able to reach to the soil and uh, it becomes a really a very difficult uh, experience because uh, we, we take quite a long time to have the materials mined ready for carving. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what, what, uh, then after the mining, uh, what happens next? Maybe please can you explain uh, what could be happening here? Yeah, after the mining, we, we just go straight to the artisans who produce uh, carvings from stone of a variety of images as, a, as per the order from the clients. So once the artist, artist has uh, produced the, the carvings, now the polishing process begins to make the, work, the artwork finished ready for marketing. So the polishing starts from sand paper with water, like you can see down here. She's doing the sanding and using various grades of sandpaper from the harvest to the, the ultra fine sandpaper. And that's now the, the beginning of the polishing process. Okay. And uh, what, what are they doing here? I can see uh, there's quite some colorful uh, activity happening here. Yeah, for now, they are they in, in a substance carving soft sand materials in three major colors. That is, uh, natural colors are uh, gray. Uh, pink and uh, white, but then there are so many clients who want actually artificial colors added to the product so that they can uh, increase beauty. And now as you can see down here, the eggs is now being painted and uh, ready to change the color of the client's, the client's uh, uh, interest. Okay. 
Yeah. That is beautiful. Uh, so I also noticed that uh, you've got a lot of egg uh, egg carvings. Why are they? Uh, why are those ones so popular? Yeah, it, it depends on the order from uh, in, from 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 clients. Now the order, because in uh, in Kisi we produce and market and as as wholesale prices. Now the people out there, international market, there are people who also go and uh, store them in a, in a store where people go to buy and uh, do the retail business. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. we, we produce as by the number ordered from the client. That's how we, we find the, the pieces produced in plenty. Okay. Yeah. So what are we doing here? I can see that uh, it's like we're going, uh, it's like we're going uh, step by step. Uh, what, is, what are we seeing here now? Yeah, after the coloring, now he's trying to polish with, uh, with the nuclear wax to make it shine and he's trying to do the wrapping of the wax so that the pieces can shine out with the colors. Mm. Yeah. Okay, how long does it take, um, usually how long does it take for one to complete a process from the raw material into the complete one? Well, the, the, the artist he take a time to go and do the mining, he gets the stones ready, and then he start the production uh, uh, by, uh, by cutting the, the stones into a product, and then from that, uh, position that's when it comes to the polishing process. So it, it takes quite some time to have just uh, and depending on the size of the product. Okay, the smaller ones can be done quite a number of them. Maybe like now these very smallest pieces can take uh, one day, a number of them can, 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 can be produced from the artist. And then another different day is when the process goes for the polishing and the, the final process of shining. Yeah. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you, uh, many of you may like, uh, actually flowers are very popular among the ladies here in Kenya. And flower verses made from soapstone are also very common and popular. We are going to be meeting uh, Mr. Chris Obura, who is a fine artist and actually carves out the designs on the soapstone uh, products. Uh, please introduce us, um, your, your work, sir. I'm Chris Obure, I'm an artist. Uh, uh, I've done this work for 26 years. Uh, this is my work. I've done, uh, I've put some beautiful uh, uh, flower in a, on a flower face. Uh, I usually do this work because I like it and uh, that's why I decided to be an artist because through this work I also get some uh, uh, money to support me. Uh, my daily bread comes from this work, so it's a good work anyway. Okay, uh, so are you able to uh, export some of your works uh, maybe to East Africa or abroad? And maybe you can mention what you have done before. Okay, uh, currently uh, I do export uh, some of my artwork to Tanzania, uh, Rwanda and Uganda. Basically that's where I have my clients from and I'm looking forward to get one, one uh, or more from other countries like America, uh, United uh, UK, Britain, uh, because uh, I believe if uh, I get one from there, I think my life will change because here in Africa, uh, though I do supply to East Africa countries, uh, they don't give us much money that can make us change the life. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Uh, perhaps you can tell me, um, how much uh, how much soapstone carvings does Kenya export to East Africa, or rather to Africa and the world? Yeah, Kenya approximately we export uh, 50 tons by year to East African market, and uh, 2,000 tons to international market uh, in Europe and America. Okay, yeah. and uh, with that much uh, mining going on, would you say that uh, soapstone carving is, uh, you know, right now we are very conscious about the environment. Is it environment friendly? Is it safe? Yeah, uh, soapstone mining and uh, carving business is uh, very safe in uh, the environment, uh, simply because it is involving uh, the, uh, the use of uh, stones, materials, and we don't uh, spoil the, uh, the environment. So once we mine the... The, the environment, we mine the materials, so those holes that are left, the space in the, in the ground, we turn back and fill, fill the soil and then plant trees to make the environment friendly. Okay. 
What about returning back the waste uh, material into the quarry? And I heard that, uh, is, is that, uh, is that uh, also another way of, uh, of making sure that you do not run out of the soapstone and uh, you, you don't dig further and further? Yes, we do return back the uh, wasted um, uh, materials back to the, uh, the mining holes that are remaining open so that we fill them. And years after, we go back again, we excavate those wasted materials and we find them very much useful back to us. Uh, so tell me, where would you, I mean, do we have this kind of soapstone anywhere else in the world and where does this place Kenya in terms of uh, soapstone uh, carvings and, uh, and uh, mining? Yeah, we have uh, a soapstone in uh, northern Quebec in Canada, but the soapstone in northern Quebec, Canada is grey in colour, just one colour, and also is very soft. Uh, a reason that the Eskimos who carve them, they only use uh, produce uh, small size souvenirs and they cannot be able to produce large sculptures as we do in Sopson in Kenya. And uh, Kenya, Kenyan art is very superior all over the world because in 1986 we did an exchange program between uh, Canada, uh, the Exmo covers in Canada and the Kisi covers, and uh, our kind of art in Kenya was uh, placed as the topmost because we engage a lot of creativity. We produce, apart from the animals, we also produce uh, uh, the artworks that are uh, expressing about the cultural heritage of the people. And we also produce our art in a variety of artistic techniques that the ex Exmos do not produce. So that's how we were placed as the topmost uh, producers of uh, substance art in, in the world. Mm -hmm.